Hello Mini Pilots, there has just been a new update on the Mavic Mini software and this is going to make a huge difference. The changes they've made will help you get more professional footage. Uh, these include changing the frame rates, letting you shoot video in manual and also allowing you to use manual white balance too. Now before we go any further I will just say uh, due to the uh, coronavirus pandemic I'm in lockdown uh, with people in the house with me. This has actually made recording a lot harder because obviously I'm going to have distractions going on in the background. Daddy, I done the water problem. How did you get that up there? That being said, let's take a closer look at these updates. So we have optimised remote controller performance. Um, that's good, I'll take that. Now the one that's really got my attention is they've now added manual control for shooting video. This will help if you're shooting with ND filters. This also means if you want to shoot with that cinematic look, we can by shooting at a 50th or 160th of a second, with the frame rate being 24 or 25 frames per second. Now I say 24 or 25 frames per second because if we look at the next point, we can see they've added the ability to shoot in 24 frames a second. Now this won't make a huge difference, but it's a nice little add-on and it might make things simpler in the future. It'll also slightly reduce the size of your footage files. Another thing that's really caught my eye that I think is particularly good is we have now got manual white balance. Now um, I found particularly when I'm shooting circle shots, the white balance will change as the drone flies around you. If we look at this piece of footage here, we can see at the beginning it's got quite a cool colour. We've got some bluey colours in the shadows and then as we move around we get this lovely warm rich light. And then as it goes back to beginning again, we're back to the cold looking footage again. So this is going to be really great being able to set this to manual and making sure that we get the right white balance we want the whole time. So these changes are going to be really huge at upping the quality of your videos and going slightly towards a more professional look. And we've got a quality of life improvement. Uh, they've improved the download speed for the photos. Now it also says they've improved the uh, stability in certain scenarios. Uh, this would be interesting to see what they are. I'm not 100% sure yet. And lastly, they've made some improvements to the frequency flying in the Ukraine. Congratulations, guys. Daddy, is that an It's okay, darling. If it's a carnivore, run away. If it's a herbivore, you can stroke it, okay? So here we go. If we look down the bottom, we can see we've got the auto button. And if I press that, we can flick through to manual. Now, as we can see up here, this is actually in video mode. So this is really exciting. I'm going to click on the videos. And if we scroll up, we can actually see we've got 24 frames a second here. Now, if I press on the shutter here, we can have a look through all our different shutter speeds. And we can see we've got from 1 25th of a second all the way up to 1 1600th of a second, which is a nice range. And then we can also change the ISO. We've got from 100 to 3200. And uh, it also tells you how exposed it is with the little MM is. We can't actually change that by itself. We have to use the shutter speed and the ISO to change it. So let's see if we can find out where this white balance is. Um, let's go into settings. I imagine it would be, I imagine it would probably be under camera. So let's click on camera, um, maybe advanced settings. Here it is. Okay, so here we have white balance. It's currently on auto. Let's switch it over to manual. Now I'm indoors at the moment, so we've got a slightly tungsten cast. This is usually around uh, 2500 Kelvin, but as we can see, I've changed it down to 2100 Kelvin, and this is actually a pure white box, so I've gone a bit too far. But it's great to have the option to be able to fiddle around with this. So the biggest thing for me with this update is um, not actually that you can change what the white balance is, because you can actually do this in post-reduction. It's that you can keep it constant. So if I'm filming like this uh, circle quick shot here, I now know that I can put it in manual and keep that white balance constant, which means I'm not going to have some incredibly tricky editing to do in post-production, which is obviously really good news. Now, if you're not familiar with white balance um, and you'd like me to go further into further detail of how we can use this, uh, drop a comment in the section down below. And when I can get out flying again, I can do a video about this. Now, in my opinion, the two biggest failures for the Mavic Mini are that you can't shoot in 4K and that it gets taken in the wind a lot. So if anyone from DJI is watching this, which they're probably not, I'm hoping for a software update where we can shoot at 4K and an update where the Mini can tilt further to battle wind better in extreme conditions to help prevent flyaways. So that's it for this video, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one.